Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another version 1.4 edition of Wrath of the Lamb video. Again, trying to mix up the way I introduced this game. Who should we play as this time? Let's play as Kane. I had a lot of great Kane runs in a dark period uh, where I never got the Polaroid. But here we are on 1.4 where the Polaroid might be a little bit more ubiquitous. I can't confirm or deny it because I'm recording this right after I recorded the last video. I uh, cannot confirm or deny that the Polaroid always drops after the mom boss fight, but even if it drops you know, only occasionally after the mom boss fight and more often throughout the entire game, that is A-OK -okay in my eyes. So we are playing Kane here. We know that the secret room is above us. Sadly, I have no bombs with which to access it. And there's another secret room in here somewhere. I guess that has to be probably... I guess it could be to the right or below us. I was hoping for some bombs there. Uh, we'll use this pill over here just in case it's like explosive diarrhea. Bombs are key. Okay, well that's something. Uh, I am going to focus on the secret room in here instead. Because I know for a fact it has to be right here. Well, that didn't turn out so well. Okay, we got the burnt penny. Maybe it did turn out so well. So we traded a bomb for the burnt penny. That means every time we pick up a penny we'll have a good chance of getting a bomb. Strangely enough, that sort of worked out okay. Obviously, if I get some more bombs, or some more pennies, which give me some more bombs, I will look for the top secret room from the bottom right room here. But for now, I'll just try to go through the boss here. I'm very... I'm, there was a brief dark period in my Isaac career uh, where I was despondent, could not find the Polaroid, and just... I don't know, man, it felt like nothing in life mattered anymore. But all of a sudden, with the release of 1.4, all this new content... You know, less than, like, say, the Halloween update, but certainly, you know, more than was expected. I pretty much thought that, in terms of new content, we were done. Uh, as well as the addition of a more common Polaroid, everything is A-OK, -okay. again, I would say. I'm gonna wait to get that Eternal Heart, but I will take Bob's Rotten Head. Let me think about where this boss room, or this secret room would be. This would make it adjacent to two rooms, so I kind of think it has to be down here. Indeed, that was... A smart decision, we have Child's Heart. I don't think that's as good as the Burnt Penny right now, but at least I didn't spend any money to get to it. Now, of course, now I wish I had saved Bob's Rotten Head because I could use it on this room, but it's possible we might get some pennies from this poop. And then after getting the pennies from the poop, the pennies will give us bombs, and the bombs will open up this Tinted Rock for us. I have to remember to get that Eternal Heart when I leave this floor. We could also just get a crate or something. That's a very common item drop uh, that will include a bomb as well. I think all's going fairly well so far. Even if I don't get these spirit hearts from this tinted rock or whatever is contained in this tinted rock, I don't think we're in a bad position right now. In fact, I think we're in quite a good position right now. Like I said, everything's coming up roses. Now that I am dealing with 1.4 in addition, I feel a lot more better. A lot more better? A lot better about. A lot more strongly about. A lot more positively about. There's a lot of more adjectives I could use with that. Okay, almost got killed there. I didn't realize that that poop could have me in. We gotta get to a safer position, because this is not a good spot for me. Should be firing shots across Larry Jr.'s body, as opposed to, like, directly into his face, whenever I can avoid it. Just going like this. He's so close to death. Ah, I can't believe he managed to get me. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because there's tons of red hearts just chilling around here. I can take another couple hits and still be A-OK. -okay. We got Squeezy. Gives us some extra... Spirit hearts, so we're not missing out too much on the tinted rock, but we do have no money, no bombs, and no keys. Well, if if mo money is mo problems, no money must be no problems, and show money must be show problems. I don't know. I was never good at logic. I did take two hits on these spiders in here, which is pretty depressing, though, considering that <laughs> they're probably like the easiest enemies we're going to come across in the cellar part too. So we have a top secret room in here somewhere. Should shoot all this poop, because if it contains a penny, of course, it gives us the chance to get a bomb. Try to maximize this burnt penny. I really feel like the pennies are some of the best trinkets that you can get. Key's good too, okay. Oh wait, we can see the map, so we can use Bob's right and head here. <laughs> okay, well if there's a blood bank and we find more bombs, uh, we should be able to milk a uh, blood bag out of it, considering how many things are in there. I thought maybe we could get him with the TNT. No such luck though, almost got hit there. I think that would have taken off one full spirit heart, which would have been disappointing. Extra penny and extra bomb, that's fantastic, okay. Now we have pennies, keys, and bombs. If mo money equals mo problems, one penny equals one problem? I can't tell. Anyway, if I can find a blood bank, maybe we can go to this boss room. I hate this setup right here. There we go, just got him to weasel his way out a little bit. Weasel, don't you mean spider? <laughs> 
Oh, that's good stuff. Good, we got another bomb proc out of that as well. That's important. Oh, here we go. We're in the money. Now, we're done with that secret room. Oh, we had a bunch of red hearts. That was right. Oh, we found a blood bank. That's perfect. We can use one of these bombs. Actually, we might have to use several of these bombs to get to extra red hearts. But for now, we'll just play this twice. Pick up extra bombs, I assume, as a result of that. Excellent. So we should be at, like, a net equal for bombs at the very worst case scenario. We've got another health upgrade in here, which is great. And we're only going to fight Monstro and then probably Larry Jr. after that. I, and I can never remember the boss order. I mean, I realize people were like, oh, you played this like a hundred times and you can't remember the boss order for these rooms. Think about how many things I have to keep in mind if I'm going to remember all of the boss orders in the game. Okay, I've got to keep in mind the boss order on every boss trap room for every single floor, and it differs on every single floor. And I've got to keep in mind the mob trap order for every single mob trap room on every single floor, which differs on every single floor, of course. At least until the womb. So cut me some freaking slack. Plus, Wrath of the Lamb's only been out for a month. I, I think it's implicitly become part of my brain. Some parts of it anyway, but... Get out of there. Uh, I do kind of want to save Bob's Rod and Head if I can use that on the boss. I think that'll be more effective than a bomb use, because it'll also poison. But, you know. Using bomb or using Bob's Rod and Head instead of a bomb also is not so bad, because we will save bombs. And, you know, ideally we don't want to hold on to Bob's Rod and Head forever. No offense, Bob. Get a chest out of that. And picked up another bomb and a key and a penny as a result of that. So things are turning around really quickly. We can go to the treasure room. We can go to... Oh, we can play this thing like five more times now. And we're gonna... Th I think this might actually make it so that we don't have bomb problems for like the entirety of the game. Doing pretty well for money as well. Uh, so now that we have nine bombs, let's be safe as opposed to sorry. Come down here, open this up, and pick up, you know, enough to put us back to full health. Then we can play the Blood Bank a few more times. And basically just rinse and repeat this. I realized that wasted a half heart, but it also saved me some backtracking, so that's okay. Burnt Penny is so good, like, any, actually any Penny is so good in combination with the, the Blood Bank. I guess Bloody Penny is slightly better, because it basically makes you invincible. But anytime, you know, getting a Penny gives you a chance to get something else in return, it's awesome. So we have IV Bag, um, what we're gonna do with this is basically exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna get rid of this, uh, after we go through this room, but for now, we're gonna use this to get as much health as we possibly can from down here. Let's use it. Even if this might seem like a waste of time, but it's going to allow us to get so many bombs, if nothing else. Uh, and then we'll pick up one, and then we can play another four times. Oh, if you play it fast enough, you don't actually get hurt. Okay, I, I, I knew that, but I had previously forgotten it. Okay, so, wow. Uh, we are up to 17 bombs, 18 bombs, and 51 cents here on the second floor. We will, I guess, hold on to the IV bag for now. Just in case we come across some more red hearts, and then I can use that uh, to get a, even a little bit more money than I already have. So, go there, and then I'll probably abandon it after this floor. Okay, so we're gonna pick up way more bombs as a result of that. Maybe I should stick with the IV bag. Oh, man, I'm not sure how I feel about it. $3 bill. Maybe I should stick with the IV bag instead of Bob's Rotten Head. I think it's actually, it's gonna give me so much money that it doesn't really matter. So let's get the treasure map, we'll get the... Uh, Spear Red Hearts. You know what? Uh, this is gonna pay for itself. Yep, it gave us an extra cent and another couple of bombs as well. Then we buy this Red Heart. And we have so much money, why not buy the Tarot card as well? The Moon takes us to the Secret Room. We already have the Spelunker's Hat, but this could save us a bomb. So I think IV Bag might actually end up being a, a good pickup for us here. We got number one. It's gonna give us wicked fast tears, but unfortunately very low range. But, you know, we're only fighting the Widow. Uh, we, we do have some things to worry about, of course. The Widow jumping on us can be a pain in the ass. But, as long as I dodge somewhat effectively, we should be okay here. Did I get a range upgrade or something? It feels like my range is not as bad as it used to be. Maybe number one's been nerfed a little bit. Or, I guess, buffed a little bit. Bust open this nub. If pot, There we go. We get health upgrade. Great. We get another two plays out of this, which equals another two bombs. Back to full health. Krampus, with some random tier effect that I don't know. That's good though, I'll take this damage upgrade. You know, proportional to our range of course, not a straight damage upgrade. But still, Krampus can sometimes be a pain in the ass to fight, especially so early in the game. But he also gives us a decent upgrade as well, so I have no concerns about that. I think things are going really well so far, this has been kind of an unusual play. You know, I never would have thought that there would be situations where the IV bag would be great. 
But I guess if you have the penny and you're getting a lot of red heart drops, that is, that's a good combination. If only I got Mom's purse on the first floor and I could have stuck with that child's heart. Did I not go back and get that eternal heart from Larry Jr.? I don't think I did. Oh, man. Alright. If this is in real time, there would be, you know, hundreds of commenters that I could assuage right now. But instead, I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry, people make mistakes, man. And hopefully Krampus drops some health and I don't take any extra damage, and that means more blood <laughs> IV bag plays. If the IV bag can occasionally drop blood bags, that would be fantastic. But instead, we're just gonna finish Krampus off here, he's very close. It sounded vaguely sexual. If you didn't think it did, then please maintain your innocence as long as possible. Safety cap. More pills. Um... Okay, first we'll take this. Safety cap is more pills. I think that's better. Bird Penny's been very good to us so far. I'm not gonna deny that. But more pills is also better for us, because we're Kane, and Kane always gets good pills. So we'll abandon Bob's Rotten Head. We'll take our IV bag, and we'll move along. Here we have the map now, so we know where the secret room is. I mean, we also have the Spelunkers hat, so we know where the secret room is. Uh, we got a lot of things going in our favor right now. Nothing truly spectacular. Some decent stuff. Let's just use this. Quadra shot? Oh, slowing effect. I always make that mistake. Uh, so here's the top secret room, too. I'm glad that it shows up on the map now. I'm not sure, did it always show up on the map? The slowing effect is actually fantastic. I shouldn't have just discounted that with the slowing effect. Oh, it's not quadra shot. Slowing effect is awesome. Hopefully the safety cap pays out, because it did hurt me a little bit to get rid of Burnt Penny after it had been so good to us. In the mob trap room, we find a chest. Let's go to the top secret room first. You never know what we might find therein. A uh, red chest containing double troll bombs. Well, at least it wasn't a self-sacrifice room. And we got in here, red hearts. Yes, and pills. All right, safety cap. I mean, you can't just say that Safety Cap did that, but certainly it's a possibility. That was close. Got very lucky with my dodges there. Slowing effect coming very much in handy. And of course, I'm hoping to not... Well, I'm not going to lose any red hearts on this room just because there's so many spirit hearts backing me up. I have homing shots right now. I didn't even notice that until now. Kind of hurt me there because I was trying to aim at the, the one that was in the ooze state and it keeps aiming me at whatever one gets closer. It's okay. We're going to power through these guys. Hopefully that's a, a great pill as well. Uh, we'll take the pill first, because if it's health up, then I don't want to use the blood bag. Because we'll need that health, uh, we'll need that heart to start filling our, our remaining hearts. I'm trying to play as smart as possible, I mean, I realized that I think I did leave that eternal heart, which is not smart in the least, but, you know, cut me some slack here. So we'll see what this is. Tears up, that's good. Uh, we'll play the IV bag twice. Get a little bit of extra money. Something tells me we are not going to want for money, uh, at any point during this run. Take these guys out. We do also have great tiers, uh, by the way. You might recall a cane run fairly recently where I got a number of tiers up hills. I'm hoping that we run into a, a similar situation here. So we'll fight the boss. I'm actually excited for red hard drops now because the IV bag gives me the, the potential to turn them into something great. It was great synergy with the, the burnt penny. Starting to regret maybe going with a safety cap, but we'll see. If we get a ton of pills, then, it, then it'll feel good. Uh, I'm not sure what our special effect is here. I think maybe we have uh, spectral tiers. Spectral Tear is not my favorite, uh, but, you know, slowing effect seems really good against Peep. Because its shots fire more slowly as well. Maybe not so good against the eye. Just kind of being a pain in the ass right now. And we could really... Oh, it's because I slowed it, I think. It dropped down right on top of me. Maybe it's not so good against Peep. Uh, or I just need to revise my dodging a little bit. That's another terrible dodge. Uh, but we're not going to run out of Spirit Hearts. I think we're going to be alright on that front. What I could really use here, and this is not going to surprise anybody who's watched more than one of my videos, but I would love a damage upgrade. That is not a damage upgrade. That is shot speed up. Might be cool. I don't know. I guess it's better because we have lump of coal, so like, our shots will get there faster and do more damage. We can play this a few times. Oh, I messed it up a little bit. That's fine. We'll find more red heart drops, I'm sure. So, let's continue exploring. We haven't been to the shop, and we haven't been to the treasure room yet, both of which are going to be, you know, definitely in the cards for me, considering I have three keys and so much goddamn money. Not a bad dodge there. Pretty bad drop, though. Self-sacrifice room doesn't appeal to me as a result of the fact that uh, I would lose a spirit art going in. I wonder if I could... I'm going to try something amazing, and this might actually double the damage that I take, or it might cause me to not lose a spirit heart. Let's try it. I'm gonna use my IV bag and try to run in while I'm still invincible. It worked. Okay, so we'll have that penny when we come back. And now I'm losing red hearts. Oh, but I'm gonna leave whatever's in this room. 
That's okay. It's okay. Uh, so now I'm leaving red hearts instead of lo losing spirit hearts to go into the self-sacrifice room. So that's kind of a cool use for the IV bag. Not sure if it's very practical, because uh, <laughs> it, it did cost me a lot of health to pick up not a whole lot of goods, but hey. Treasure room is going to be Ghost Baby. Getting this item a lot recently. It doesn't hurt. Uh, yeah, especially, you know, familiars are always good, especially when I'm doing, like, pretty solid twos damage. So, we have Mom's Purse. We have an extra heart, which means I'm going to try to do that a couple times. And then pick it up. That paid for itself. And this pill, which we don't know what it does. Bad gas. Not worth five cents, but it's worth it to take the risk on the pill anyway. It's an interesting run so far. So now we got Mom's Purse. We can have two trinkets. We could have Safety Cap Polaroid. We could have, you know, Polaroid Cancer. Hopefully we get the the uh, Polaroid trinket. I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch. It's been a fun run regardless, just as a result of my kind of unconventional use of the IV bag, in my opinion anyway. Oh, this is good. Okay. <laughs> Let's be smart about this. this is the, maybe the first time I've ever found this room super effective. That was not a good use. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing this properly. Okay. Now I'm doing it properly. We should. I could have gotten double the plays out of those first ones. So much money. We're probably gonna fight greed. Doesn't matter though. Greed can't be in every shop forever. Okay. Can't help but think that. Oh, that was bad as well. I uh, can't help but think that maybe this is what Edmund McMillan had in mind when he came up with the IV bag and this room. So we picked up like 50 cents as a result of that room. Maybe 50 is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it was, it was certainly very good. Just me, these conga lines seem a little bit faster right now. I'm a little scared. Rage would be a great item to pick up right now. Man, this is crazy. I should have kept the burnt penny. I would have like 50 bombs by now. But, you know, there's only one way to find out whether you're making a mistake or not, and that's to, to make a decision, take a chance, break away. I don't know, I've forgotten all the lyrics to my favorite Kelly Clarkson songs. And this is also, like, the IV bag makes Red Heart so much better. I mean, it's it's kind of like the reverse of the, uh, the Bloody Penny. Like, in the Bloody Penny gives you hearts when you pick up pennies. Anything about this. The, yeah, the, the IV bag effectively makes it if you're at full health anyway, so that you pick up pennies whenever you have red hearts. Kind of weird. We'll absolutely use a bomb here. Let's see what this is. These cards tend to be great. Two of diamonds is going to double our money. Probably not that useful right now. Yum heart. I, I want like yum heart IV bag to work in combination with one another. This is weird. Like, this is really weird, because then I can do this... Grab Yum Heart, try to get Yum Heart recharged, and then come back and get the IV bag, because IV bag has unlimited uses. It would get re goddamn ridiculous. We'll just take that as if it gave us like seven cents. That's fine. Um, some uh, some people are probably like, go get the Yum Heart, keep it charged, uh, and then play the you know the IV bag more than you would normally normally get a chance. Guys, I don't need that money. I have two of diamonds already. That would just be a severe waste of my time. Okay. That's good. Unless I'm missing some kind of amazing synergy. Which is possible. You know, I've got enough bombs that we can take a risk on this one. Alright. That was a risk. I don't want to use two bombs to get two bombs. I would rather use one bomb to get zero bombs. Come to think of it, that makes me sound like a total idiot, but... Just pretend I didn't say that. Triple shot from the $3 bill working very effectively here. As is our IV bag, of course. Oh, that's good. That is really good stuff there. That could be enough... To take us to 99 cents. So, obviously, we'll be looking to buy something from the shop on this floor if we come across one. Well, I mean, we will come across a shop, but we'll be hoping that it doesn't contain greed. Starting to not hate the IV bag as much as I used to. But only, I guess, if you, if you don't have health problems. Otherwise. I mean, effectively, what I, normally I want a blood bag. A blood bag is one health up plus full health. Oh, that's good. Okay, first let's take the pill. We don't know what it does. Range up, that's fine. That's really good in combination with our lump of coal. Okay, so like blood bag normally gives us one health up plus uh, full health. IV bag has given us like 90 cents. Yeah, there we go, 99 cents. And I'm holding a two of diamonds card. That's insanity. There's no point in even using this until I get down to like 45 cents, but still, nice to have it, I guess. See if maybe we've got a shop over here. No, that's a self-sacrifice room. But I don't really like... Oh, I wonder... That's another range upgrade. If we can do some cool stuff with the blood bag in here... 
Let's let's see if there's a shop first. What is that? Two of fright. Um, if I could like use the IV bag, then walk over the spikes a couple times, not take the damage from the spikes, but still get the credit for taking damage from the spikes. We'll see. Penny I don't need, so I'll leave that just in case I need it later, even though it's, like, unbelievably unlikely. I, I can't imagine a situation where that Penny ends up saving my life. But, you know, stranger things have happened, I suppose. Some of these things are actually dying after a, a long period here. Come on. Gee, there we go. Finally. So we got the fish head. We might as well get it, because we can hold two of these. Distinct feeling that we will be fighting greed. No! Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's do things the simple way first. Uh, we will get Book of Revelations, use it, get the Spirit Heart. We will use this twice. Three times, four times actually. This will give us enough money to buy the remainder of the things in here. Then we will get Book of Revelations, and we will hold on to it. I think this is a wise decision for us right now. Let's use a bomb here. And we get more money. I was going to use a bomb to get to the money uh, in the room above us, but I don't think that's really worth it, considering bombs are probably going to be more effective than an extra few cents, considering that extra few cents is going to be the difference between not like 0 and 15, but from 87 to 99. My guess is that I will probably not be using 87 cents uh, over the remainder of this video anyway. So we'll pick up a cube of meat. Not a big fan of that item, but I guess I vary on it. Sometimes I'm a big fan. Hopefully we'll get a deal with the devil. That's actually a deal with the angel. Even better. So I haven't gotten a deal with the devil so far, so I can do this. We got the miter, even more spirit art drops. Assuming we get a Polaroid drop, I think we are in like an unbelievable position to possibly beat the chest as Kane here. I don't want to use a key for that. We need more keys. That's the only thing I'm really sweating right now. You know what would be great as well? Uh, polyphemus or piercing shots. Because my shots are already traveling so fast. If they went through the enemies, I think like we'd be unstoppable right here. So this would be a great situation to maybe have some kind of penny upgrade, but oh well. We don't. Do have a lot of blood bags. If we get a lot of red heart drops, or blood banks, I should say. If we get a lot of red heart drops, we can make these work for us. I'm definitely going to pick up a little bit more money as a result. So we're going to be creating a lot of flies when we get hit, assuming the, the effects on uh, that stack. The fish head and the they grow inside item, which I've forgotten the name of despite picking it up like less than a second ago. I wonder if shot speed up also causes your shots to do more damage. It feels like they do, but maybe that's just because like they're traveling so fast. I don't know, maybe. We got 24 bombs, I think we can afford to definitely pop one of these over. Get another bomb and a key, that worked out well. We got double secret rooms here. Spelunker's helmet has definitely uh, been worthwhile as well. Book of Revelations is recharged. This is an unbelievably solid run. We'll start with the top secret room. Where we'll find a ton of hearts, which means we will go back and play the Blood Bank, like, as many times as we possibly can here. IV Bag would have been fantastic as well, but these have the potential to pay out with the Blood Bag, so why not? This is going to take me above 99 cents. I don't really care. Money is... it has no meaning. Oh my god, all those flies. Oh lord. If only we knew where the boss room was right now, we would destroy whatever boss we came across, like, instantly. Why did I seem to lose so many? I had way more a second ago. Oh well. So we'll use a bomb to go in here. Uh, we can rinse and repeat, you know, one bomb for the potential to... Let's check out this secret room first. Ah, we're already too far away. One more bomb for the potential to get uh, some more... Health, I think is fair. Oh, there's our... Stuff. We're almost done here. Come on. We're leaving like 20 cents in this room if we don't get the blood bag. Alright, well, we're gonna blow it up. Again, insane number of flies. We got a spirit heart out of that. I guess it's worthwhile. There must be some cap where it's like you can only take six flies from a room or something. It's A-OK. -okay. So we spent like three bombs to get money I didn't need and a spirit heart. That's not a great trade, but it's alright. We're still doing okay for bombs. Kinda wish that I'd stuck with the... Burnt Penny, though. We would have... okay, I don't need that. Uh, we would have an insane number of bombs right now. I was kind of hoping for like Epic Fetus or something in there. Now we will go to the shop on this floor. I don't think it's going to give us anything great. I think it's going to give us a mini boss is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, that's good. But we'll see. That's another range upgrade. That's another two range upgrades. So, we'll take this. 
Range up, we'll take this. Range up, why not? Like I said, scales well with our uh, lump of coal. And it's another range upgrade, okay. Safety cap, you're getting a little damn ridiculous now. Should be able to use two more bombs to get out and get two more bombs here. Fair trade in my eyes. Oh, three bombs, okay. Shit happens. We're still gonna be at 20. And we're gonna come across zombies. Another good opportunity for piercing shots, I think. If I could actually hit this one. Come on, there we go. And extra bombs. I'm kind of welcoming those extra bombs right now. Do I have enough keys to use that golden chest? I think I can justify that. Yes, I can definitely justify that. Now, if I put a bomb here, I should get the tinted rock as well. There we go. That's effective bomb use. Wow, okay, that's awesome. I don't. I shouldn't be picking up the money because we don't need it, but that doesn't make any difference. Bombs are key. I'm going to hold that, and I'm going to fight the boss right away. The reason I'm going to hold that is because you never know, maybe if I hold onto this key until we get to the chest, that could really come in handy. And we'll get our second cube of meat. That's actually really good. First cube of meat, kind of not that important. Second cube of meat, pretty awesome. Going to allow us to do some extra damage here. I always welcome having more good familiars. It just kind of sucks that to get the second cube of meat, you do need to get the first one, but I mean... That is how progression works, I suppose. And of course, we have the potential for an awesome third cube of meats. Well, occasionally awesome, occasionally terrible. We got another deal with the angel. And this one is going to be uh, the sacrament, right? Scapular, whatever. Uh, I think this also gives us the more chance, uh, chance for more spirit heart drops. And it gives us a shield occasionally. And the miter might also give us a shield occasionally. I have no idea, to be honest with you. But I know that that and the miter, you know, both solid items. I believe, anyway. Uh, the Mitre, for sure, has, has done good stuff for me in the past. I'm not sure about the Scapular. Does it seem like I'm firing way faster now? I feel like I'm firing way faster now. That was not good. We have our library and our shop. This is going to take up both of our remaining keys. Library contains Book of Belial and Book or Necronomicon, and the shop contains... That was, I mean, we all knew it was going to happen. But we'll go through it anyway. Maybe Greed will drop something excellent. Even if he doesn't, no big deal. Wow, he was easily killed. He drops a key, so there's no harm, no foul on that room. So we do have one key for the next floor. And truly, I think, great items. We'll see how it works. I am going to abandon the, the Two of Diamonds. I have a feeling I will never need that. Whereas Bombs are Key could really come in handy. I would hate to have one bomb and 25 keys, but, you know, if I run into a situation where I can't open a shop or can't open a treasure room, it might be worth it. We might even come across another bombs or key pill later, so... It's not like if we use it once, we're stuck there forever. Necessarily. We might be. I think we have my reflection going on in our tier effects here. Not a big deal, because we don't have Ipecac. The other thing I could do is if there's a room where there's a lot of bomb drops, like three or four, I could use bombs or key and then pick up some extra bombs. So we'll do this. I'm hesitating to use it until we like go to secret rooms and stuff like that, because obviously only bombs can access those. Don't really want to go to the fortune teller. Like we, I said, I'm pretty sure Mom might just drop it of her own volition. And if she does, that's great. Uh, I think that was a very smart design choice, if that is the case. And it really makes um, Mom's purse into basically a must-buy item if you find it, because then you can have two trinkets. You don't just have to have the Polaroid, which is now basically guaranteed, perhaps, if you're having a good run anyway. Uh, and... Nice spirit art drop there. Uh, and you can hold something else, like maybe a Cancer or another item that you are a fan of. Uh, you know what, I'll go through this, because an extra charge on the Book of Revelations. More bombs is cool too. You never know what we would pick up there. These things are going to die very quickly. Again, Rage would be one of my most wanted items right now. Apart from just a straight up damage up. You guys ever play straight up damage up in public school? That's a great game. Beat the shit out of Duck Duck Goose. Nah, it's terrible. Bad damage there. The joke was not terrible. Well, okay, the joke was also terrible. But... It seems to me that these guys have gotten faster. But maybe... My brain is just working more slowly right now. That was easy, extra bombs is cool, those will possibly become extra keys later, but still... Just no greed on this floor would be great. I had this money, I want to use it effectively. Using it effectively means, oh god, going to the shop. Or spending it on fortune tellers or something, I guess. Oh, perfect. We got the candle. You know what? We have enough from Book of Revelations 
already. Um, considering we also have the... Okay, we'll play this too. Considering we also have the Miter... I don't feel too bad about this. I'm gonna stick with this Bombs or Key Pill. We'll abandon this Death Card if we have to, but I'm playing the shit out of this. Candle's gonna give us extra damage. The reason I'm playing this so much, first off, um, Miter and maybe Scapular. There we go. That, that was the other reason. <laughs> well, the, the first reason was that we're gonna get a lot of Spirit Hearts from it, because we have Kane, so we have Crazy Luck, and we have Miter, which gives us more Spirit Heart drops. Uh, but I want to keep this Bombs or Key Pill, of course. What the heck is that? Judas Tongue. I didn't even know I'd unlock that yet, but hey, that's cool. We'll hold on to that and the Polaroid. Just watch out for tick drops, because I would, I, I could still get the Polaroid. That would be okay, but man, this thing is paying out like crazy. I am <laughs> abusing my privileges here, but still. Push pin. I don't want it, I, but we're kind of in a tough situation. Okay, Rusty Key might be more valuable than Judas Tongue, but I kind of want to stick with Judas Tongue just because I had it already. Spirit Heart. This, this payout is unbelievable. We're just going to keep it up. What else are we going to spend our money on, right? Isaac's Head, that's a good one. I don't know what I would, what I would expect Judas Tongue to be. Lifesteal, maybe? Okay, these, these fucking tarot cards are ridiculous. I kind of... That's extra luck up. That's extra luck up. We should pick those up and then play the Fortune Teller. We'll have insane luck. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of these tarot cards just for a second. So death, we're, we're just going to clear them out. I know this is going to piss people off, but hey, we're going to use death. Sorry. Strength, you're gone. Chariot, feel bad for you, bro. Empress, yes. The reason is we want to hold on to this bombs or key pill. Don't want to use the fool just yet. But that's cleared out a little bit of space for us here, because things are getting a little ridiculous. What happens if you double the Empress? We're, we'd probably do unbelievable damage right now. Lover's card is cool. Pop that over here. Just trying to give like some extra space for us. Flat Penny. So Flat Penny gives us more keys whenever we pick up pennies, right? Okay, we're, okay. First off, pick up Flat Penny down here. There's no tick I have to worry about. Then pick up the pennies. That didn't do anything. Bombs are key. What do we want here? We want the Polaroid. And we want Judas Tongue. Okay. I might be like abandoning a chance at some keys here. But that's alright. I don't feel bad about it. Because Judas Tongue, you know, it's a new item. We gotta check it out. And the candle, obviously. Uh, I'm giving up my chance at Spirit Hearts. Oh well. We already have, we got like eight Spirit Hearts as a result of that fortune teller. So I don't feel bad about that. And, you know, Miter and Scapular, I think, are gonna keep us in good positions here. We could use that to teleport to the secret room. I don't want to do that. We got a library. I probably am not going to want what they're selling. But I've gotten great drops so far on this run. Uh, another tar like tarot card. Maybe that's what Judas Tongue gives you. Is like just insane tarot card drops. Library has Book of Shadows, which could be cool. But I'm going to stick with the candle. I think the candle is a really good item. Uh, and we'll continue on with here. Maybe that's what the scapular does. The scapular gives you better luck or better tarot card drops or something. But anyway, I'm going to try to like gloss over the fact that I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here. We do have an arcade whose success, or whose existence probably does not dictate our success at all. But I might go to it anyway. I mean, clearly the arcades have been good for me in the past. But we got to call it quits somewhere, otherwise it's going to get ridiculous. Spirit Heart drops are crazy. Sure, you know what? You got me for one. Alright, thanks a lot. Much appreciated. No idea what Judas Tongue does. Maybe I don't want to know. I did summon some flies. Oh, that's because I, I still have the, the like, grow inside one. It's okay. Candle. Don't really want to get that sense, considering it has almost no meaning for me right now. We have a pretty insane set of upgrades. And considering we also have the Polaroid, I feel fantastic about this run. Almost as if the game is atoning for previous misgivings, perhaps, or mistakes. I didn't want to call them mistakes. Mistakes imply blame, but hey. I feel like that 1.33 edition had some mistakes in it. And now, everything is hunky-dory. Come at me, Zombros. Dental plan. Katie needs Zombrex. Dental plan. Okay. Here we go. Nothing there. Losing our last key here for homing bombs. 
which we are probably going to turn into keys in a second. Or, oh man, if I have 36 keys on the chest, I'm going to be a happy boy. Let's see what we got from this dude. Oh, I really expected the candle to kill him in one hit. We got another pill, health upgrade. Hey, can I call him or can I call him? I don't think I need to go back for help just yet. We'll get some when we defeat Mom, and we will defeat Mom. I wonder what she's going to drop if she doesn't drop the Polaroid. Maybe she'll just drop a second Polaroid. We can carry two Polaroids and just throw it in the face of my past self. Okay. Oh, this is an alternate version of Mom. We've got red stuff going on here. Whoa, okay. Feet falling pretty quickly here. My guess is that she probably has lower HP and doesn't spawn enemies, just feet constantly. This is actually an easier version, I think, at least with my current set of items. If I was slower, it might be a bigger pain in the ass, but, you know, in the mom boss fight, normally my biggest problem is dealing with the enemies that she spawns. So we'll do that easily. We get another Polaroid drop. Dare I take two? No, we're okay. We'll stick with Judas' tongue as well. And head down to the Woompar one. It's kind of a slow run so far. Eh, you know what? It's probably like normal speed. Poison touch. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to speed through the game here. Now we don't have any Book of Revelations to charge, we can basically just... <laughs> don't e That's cockiness right there. Waste the bomb and then don't even pick up the money. Just be like, ah, I don't want it. Whatever. So I saw three cents in the shop and I was like, whatever. I thought that would be the boss. Well, I didn't think it would be the boss. It was wishful thinking from the start, but... So what is making or breaking this run? Uh, you good use of the IV bag at the start gave me a ton of money, which I was then able to use uh, to buy great items. Pretty much, I got a, I got some good item drops as well. As you can see, like we have a ton of health. Uh, two deals with the angel didn't hurt. They're giving us a ton of spirit heart drops. Just a lot of things working together here. It wasn't really one item that, that has taken us to this position that we're in right now. It's just been good luck all around. I'm gonna stop complaining for a while because I think I left the bombs a key pill. Ah, oh, god damn. It. Okay, well we'll hold on to our keys then. Sorry, golden chests. I feel bad about this. Normally I love opening golden chests in the womb, but we're gonna hold on to all of our keys so that maybe I can open those golden chests in the chest, which we know for a fact will contain items. Extra tiers upgrade is cool. We can live with that, and maybe we'll get a skeleton key upgrade or something. It's unlikely, but it, it can happen. Stranger things have happened, at least. Kind of hoping I don't get, yeah, trapped in a prison of vaginal fluid here. Well, this isn't vaginal fluid. This is blood. Clearly showing my comprehensive knowledge of female anatomy. Would you believe this guy has a degree in biology? <laughs> Some of you are probably saying, no way. Well, I'll show you my wall. I should... I'm just gonna take it. We can probably feel safe knowing that we're not gonna use it. And we're very nearly at the boss anyway. It's their second secret room. Spelunker's helmet has been very good to us. It's an item I don't normally enjoy. But if you pick it up early, uh, it can be really useful. So let's just get this guy to pop up. This guy to pop down. And this guy to pop over. Extra heart, I actually do need that. And our secret room could contain anything. It could even contain the Polaroid. Okay, it just contains a lot of red hearts. We've run into a lot of those rooms so far. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do here. Shoot the, shoot the candle. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I didn't expect it to. We got Conquest, Conquest gives us the white pony, an item I really do not want. But it's all good. We should be able to kill him reasonably quickly. Just make sure we stay out of his way down here. Actually, the slowing effect is helping a lot here. Putting me in a position where I can, like, slow one and then get out of the way so that their timing is kind of staggered. Works really well. So he's going to be dead any second now. Which one's the real one? Not that one. Oh, okay, we got raised from heaven. A little bit more dickish. Come back, Conquest. He's had that problem for a while where he disappears for a little bit too long. That was super easy. We're not going to take White Pony, even though it gives us the ability to fly. We're just going to head down to the next level. Uh, I think the candle's strong enough right now that we can feel okay about our chances. And we'll go maybe upper left first is where I'll... Ghost... I'm relying on Ghost Baby to do a lot of damage here. Every once in a while, maybe I get a chance to shoot a candle in there. Oh, we got homing tears. We can probably stay out of his way and still do damage to him here. Yeah, it's working out nicely. Candle's basically gotten him. That was a really good fight. Uh, we know what this is bombs are key. That's really good. Let's hold on to that Exit out the top here through the gift shop And uh, I guess we'll focus on the hearts last because they're the biggest pain in the ass So much worse when they have that like mask of infamy attached to them 
AKA zombie heads, I guess, is what I normally call them. This miter is worth its weight in gold right now. I don't know if I've ever seen this alternate version of this boss. This might be new. But, you know, new or old, super easy. Uh, $3 bill has been very good for us as well. I've, I've seen a lot of triple shot, I've seen a lot of homing tiers, which occasionally are effective. Uh, now we will check the bottom left, which I don't think is going to be the boss, but we're here. We might as well check it out. I mean, there's always the chance as well. We have homing bombs, I forgot about that, so that's going to make Wrath super easy. Not that he's ever really been that hard, but... Um, whenever he throws bombs at me, they're just going to go back in his face. See? Super easy. If he dies, and he should be dead any sec- There we go. Freaking finally. More keys. Maybe we won't have to use this bombs or key pill anytime soon. Just want to take out the diglets, then we can focus on this asshole. I got enough bombs to make this worthwhile. Extra money, a secret room. We'll probably go to the arcade, even though there's nothing that they can give me there to make me feel better about the way things are going. Things are already going very good. Uh, I'm not going to go to the library, because I don't want to waste a key. I want to save my keys and use them on the shop a little bit later. Or use them on the... Not the shop. It doubles our bombs. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Bombs are key. Use it. Two of clubs. Doubles our bombs. Okay. That's very good. I'll pop this down here. We can play the blood bank twice. Pick up a little extra cash, but I'm not going to spend too much time in this arcade. I think we've already, you know, created a pretty good position for ourselves. We can play this fortune teller until the cows come home, and it'll give us a ton of spirit hearts, most likely. We got a spirit heart out of the poop there, actually. Uh, but I guess we can get the liberty cap, too. That might be more effective than Judas' heart. But we're going to basically get every single trinket in the game. Uh, this will show us abs where absolutely everything is. So we can use that, and it gave us a spirit heart as well, which uh, it seems like everything in this game right now is including spirit hearts. So that'll show us where the boss is. I could carry that onto the cathedral and, you know, get through that a little bit faster. Get through the chest a little bit faster, potentially, but... That actually might be a really good idea. But the candle's been good to me, too. I find it hard to get rid of the candle when it's almost unquestionably one of the better spacebar items in the game. Well, not one of the better ones, one of the best spacebar items in the game. I was watching uh, Edmund McMillan's wife actually streams Binding of Isaac occasionally. I can't remember if I've mentioned it in the videos before. But she got the candle and she's like, I hate the candle. And I was like, immediate dislike and unsubscribe. No, but I really don't understand how people can't like the candle. It's a great item. I guess not objectively, because other people have different opinions. But for me, as long as I can focus on aiming both things at once, which is not always guaranteed, uh candle usually works out very well for me. I guess if you have like epic fetus or fetus in a jar, then the, the candle's worthless because you're going to be focusing all your efforts just on aiming your shots, but if, you, if you're just holding like right on the d-pad or left on the d-pad like I am most of the time, then you are going to find yourself doing extra sweet burst damage as a result of the candle. I take a little bit of damage on this room right here, but it's not that bad and we're going to be done with this in a second and on to fight mom's heart, which I assume is going to be easy. Maybe an alternate version? Who knows, we'll see. Oh, looks like a pretty standard version. Uh, although I guess, you know, It Lives is kind of already an alternate version of Mom's Heart. That was bad. I can't believe this run started with Bob's Rotten Head. So we'll drop bombs, the bombs will home. That's actually very good, because then I won't shoot them away by accident. We'll continue firing in the candle whenever possible. Should allow us to take these bosses out very easily. And I kind of want to avoid using too many more bombs. I'm already doing decent enough damage, and I can take everything that comes out, out with the candle. As you can see, like, Duke of Fly has almost died in one hit. I mean, you can't see his health bar, but I assure you, he is very nearly dead right now. And Mom's Heart is almost dead, actually. Yeah, that was very easy. We got another Angel Room, which shouldn't have anything in it, no. Uh, and then we'll just go up to the Cathedral. Things going incredibly well. We can see where we're going. Uh, we're gonna check the very... Ooh, we got pink versions of the Widows. Just me, is the color on these guys, actually, that's really good. I'm not trying to say that in a weird way, but this is clearly an alternate version of the boss. It's just the art seems a little bit more polished than, than other things in Isaac. Not Again, not saying that the art in Isaac is bad, it just looks slightly disparate. In not a bad way, either. I'm just digging myself a bigger hole here, but anyway. Kill Greed as fast as possible. Oh man, something took a shot for me there. That must have been the second Meat Boy. Thank you, second Meat Boy. Okay, we took a little damage, no big pr problems, I think. Still can't even see my hearts, which is a good thing. I would kind of like to know how many I have at this point, but I mean, that's just something with the Binding of Isaac that I think we've all come to terms with at this point, is that we, if we have hearts off the screen, we are never going to see how many that is. So we'll check our secret room quickly, who knows. Extra money, almost certainly not going to be useful at any point in our 
run here. This is annoying. Just hit me, just one of you hit me please so we can get this over with. I'll gladly start the chain- whoa we got a spirit out. I'll gladly start the chain reaction. As long as we can finish this quickly. Okay, good. Joker takes us to a deal with the devil or an angel. Um, yeah, let's use that before we go to the boss room. It's gonna give us the Bible, which allows us to fly. I think the candle's gonna be more, more effective. And we'll fight Isaac. I think we're gonna beat him fairly easily. We're shooting quick, so we're probably gonna take some extra damage. But then we'll go to the chest, and we have 36 keys. Who knows? This might be the run where we beat uh, the chest as Kane. Maybe. Only thing I would want right now that I don't have is the compass. That, that could really help me out. The slowing effect is going to be really good for me uh, from a dodging perspective. Nun's Habit would be cool too, but not in conjunction with the candle. Nun's Habit is just always good for the Isaac boss fight for me because that takes so much damage. Most of the time. Yeah, didn't look so hot. But Isaac is now entering his second form. Yes, there he goes. A little bit trickier. And we got homing shots to deal with. I don't know why I always think the third form is easier. I think maybe he shoots less, but the angel fetuses shoot a lot more, and that's that's a pain in the ass, too. Speaking of which, he should be entering his third form soon. Still can't see my hearts. Very positive things going on right now. Here's third form, I think. Yes. So we gotta watch out for the angel fetuses. We will spawn flies every time we get hit, though. Very positive thing. And... Isaac is very nearly dead. We just kinda gotta watch out for these angels now. More flies have been created. I don't even care if they fly into Isaac or the Angel Fetuses at this point. Either one is A-OK -okay with me. Both gonna be pains in the asses. Okay, so now I'm expecting some Spirit Heart drops from these Angels when they die. Come on. Still hearts off the screen. We do have the Polaroid, so onwards to the chest. Great items. Luck out here. Ten extra bombs. Could be cool. Polyphemus. That is awesome. That's really useful. Now a bunch of tears upgrades. Fire my laser. Okay, well that, that's okay. Polyphemus is really useful here. I can't even imagine. Like we are, we are built for damage right now. If only we got like a brimstone or technology right now. But I'm not gonna complain. I think things are going really well. Still can't see my health. Again, that's good though. Once I can start seeing my health, things are gonna become a little bit scarier. But hopefully, I've chosen the right direction for the boss here. If not, we got a little bit of backtrack, and this floor isn't huge, though. Oh, man. Oh, that was weird. But, you know, Gertie. No biggie, especially with the slow here. Should be very easy. Almost looks like Gertie's health bar is smaller as well. I think the candle actually destroyed the shots that Gertie shot at me. Spirit heart drop there is awesome. Of course, there's a secret room here. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here. Okay, Wrath is not going to be a problem. Only Lust was going to be a problem there. And Greed, of course. But Wrath is not a problem because of the, the homing bomb ability. Greed is dead. And now it's Wrath's turn. Should be the easier one, actually, despite the fact that he's still alive. No interest in Mr. Boom. Magneto is okay. We can't even bomb through the walls of the chest, can we? Alright, so who cares about the secret room, really? Okay. So again, we're going to focus mainly on killing Lust here as soon as possible. Then Greed. Then Wrath. The longer Wrath survives the better it can be for us. Wrath is nearly dead. Come on. Just a little bit more. We've chosen the wrong direction, but it's all good. We're getting more incredible items out of this. Chest has actually been pretty fun so far. I don't want Mr. Boom. But this is all good. Not, I, I've never gotten four solid items from the, uh, the chest. It's always like two I don't want, but still, Polyphemus makes up for it. Uh, and then some. Got some dodging to do here. Excellent. Uh, we'll come around to the right. Try Loki is kind of a pain in the ass. Still can't see my health, which is good. Being a little bit quiet here because I'm a little bit. I'm just trying to remain focused on the on the task at hand. Even though I can't see my health, you know things can go badly very quickly. But once we get to Blue Baby, Blue Baby is a boss that I've fought several times before. What's this pill? Could be amazing. Tears up. That's really good, actually. The faster we fire Polyphemus, the more damage we are going to do. Of course. We're just going to try to put ourselves in, like, a Matrix position here. Where we cannot really get hit. I got hit by something there. I didn't even see what it was. But I still can't see my health. Again. Great news. We also have, like, a ton of Red Hearts. So if, if there's Red Hearts that I can pick up, which, you know, those tend to drop fairly frequently... We'll be okay. Okay, this is not where we want to be again. 
We may actually find ourselves in a position where we're exploring the entire chest, which is not where I would want to be. But as long as we're doing so much damage, I don't think it really matters. And we're picking up spirit hearts like crazy, too. Recall, of course, that we will get the shield as well when we uh, get pretty low as a result of both the Polaroid and the Mitre, and maybe the Scapular as well? I think, anyway. So, now we know that we have to be going in the right way now. It's almost certainly going to be uh, the far right side. In fact, I think that's basically the only location it could be right now. Neither of these guys caused me too many problems, at least ever since Sloth got re-nerfed to not shoot creep every time he shot. We get Spider Butt out of that. I always forget what Spider Butt does. It slows everything in the room. Okay, we already have slowing effects. Candle is definitely way more important. Uh, but, you know, Spider Butt's a great item. I've seen great runs on the Binding of Isaac subreddit that had Spider Butt as an integral part of them. But for now, I think we're just going to stick with what we know. I think I'm still gaining more health than I'm losing, which is insanity. But I can't help but feel like I kind of deserved it after, like, all of the runs that I've had recently. Extra Spirit Arts. Awesome. Super Wrath. Double Super Wrath. And my homing bombs apparently do not apply to troll bombs. But they're still going to damage him accidentally a lot, I'm assuming. And my reflection Polyphemus tears are huge here. Super Wrath is very nearly dead. Maybe a couple more candle shots. And one more. I think this will do it. Okay. And here we go to fight Blue Baby with, uh, I think, pos very positive chances right now. Make sure we're firing this candle in at all times. If I take damage, I take damage. It's actually not necessarily a 100% negative thing, because I will be creating flies when I do it as well. I can't help but feel like Blue Flame actually absorbs some of these shots as well, and if that's the case, uh, then the more I fire it, the less risk I have, because it's just going to actually absorb some of those shots that are coming at me anyway. Let me just keep this up. This is going to be very easy. We're going to get our second chest win. I think it's our second. Maybe our third. But pretty sure it's our second. Uh, and then we'll focus on beating the chest with every remaining character, I guess. Which we have a lot of. This is actually a really good run. Second time in a row I finished a Binding of Isaac run with a smile on my face. Despite the fact that the last run may not have been nearly as successful as this. Uh, this is very solid. I guess I shouldn't count my chickens. We still have one more Angel Fetus. Never mind. Okay, so we get the true ending of the game again. I've already shown this, but we'll... Make it work itself through anyway, and I think it's basically unquestionable at this point that 1.4 is a much better edition, possibly, I guess, the definitive or final edition of The Binding of Isaac that we will see, and very positive improvements, very positive impressions of 1.4 so far. Making the Polaroid drop after the mom boss fight is a very smart idea, in my opinion. Something that I've personally recommended, not that it was stolen from me or that he even took my suggestion. I'm sure a lot of people were screaming about it. But yes, very well done. Let's check out our collection really quick. We're still missing one item. I guess that's I've got to pick up Guppy's hairball on a run somewhere. How about like secrets unlocked? 93 out of 97. So I think that's four more characters we have to beat the chest with. But as always, thank you guys for watching. That was great. I will see you guys next time.